so thankful that we found Dr. Pierce. I mean, I hope you liked him as much as I did. I just can't wait to get home and call your dad. We'll uh, tell you what we'll, we'll Skype him, okay? I really believe that we did the right thing today. I believe that this is just the beginning of really, well, it's the beginning of the bright, happy future that you should have. You're a teenager and you should be carefree. And this more than a chance. I think this can work for us. All right, here we are. Dear Diary, today was my first visit with Dr. Pierce. He was pretty nice. This is now my fifth doctor and here comes a new prescription all over again. Dr. Pierce says I have a chemical imbalance which is why I'm always sad. He seems to believe he can get my depression under control so I can live a normal life. But who wants to be normal? I just want to be happy like everybody else. All my doctors say I can be fixed like I'm some broken down car or something. I just hope this guy is right. He should took enough blood to start a blood bank, that's for sure. Well, I just guess we'll have to see how it goes. may cause dizziness, insomnia, nausea, dry mouth, headaches, stomach cramps, diarrhea, constipation, dizziness upon standing. If thoughts of suicide should occur, please contact your physician immediately. Thoughts of suicide? I'm having these just reading this bottle. Hey, honey. So how was the doctor? Well, honey, this doctor seems really nice, and he also seems to really understand Molly's symptoms. I'm just glad she's not cutting anymore. We almost lost her. But it's not quite so bad this time. It's just that she's tired and withdrawn all the time, and I just, I, I can't, I can't seem to get her interested in anything. Dr. Pierce says this new medication should help a lot. You know, I'm sorry you have to go through this by yourself. You know, I'll be home as soon as I can from this tour. I love you. And tell Molly I'll be home as soon as I can. You know, we'll deal with this together as a family and figure it out. But I gotta go right now. Thanks, honey. We love you. I love you, too. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. I last saw Dr. Pierce, and I know I haven't talked in a while, but guess what? I guess these little pills are actually working. I feel great. Like, life is finally good. I, I totally have energy, and I can totally concentrate in class, and I'm totally making new friends. And I was only a little nauseous at first. And I even think these little things have actually made me lose a little weight, and I'm not complaining. Look! Looking good, huh? And oh my gosh, today was the best day ever. 
Guess who made the cheerleading team? That's right, me! And guess who got invited to the biggest party of the year by no one else other than the gorgeous Jonathan? That's right, me! Again! Hey, Molly! Oh, okay, mom's calling. I gotta go shopping! Bye! Dear Diary, six weeks on my meds now, and so far things are still going good. This is your home? Cool. Wow. Cool pictures. Is this your dad? Yeah, he plays the drums. So your dad is a musician? Yeah. That has to be cool. Um, kinda. Except he's always off on tour, so I kind of miss him a lot. Yeah, my dad's always gone too. Oh, really? Your dad travels to work also? Yeah, kinda. I mean, he's always off somewhere on drugs. Oh, sorry. Whatever. Anyways, I hate a teacher, don't you? I mean, I wouldn't say hate. What I am gonna hate is if I get less than an A on this assignment. You know, my mom said I can't go to the party if I don't get an A. Well, we better get started. Whoa, let me get one. Uh, Rebecca, you can't take those. Yes, I can. I take my mother's Xanax all of the time. Those are not Xanax. <sighs> oh, shit. You take crazy pills? Becca, don't be a bitch. Give me those. <sighs> these aren't even crazy pills. My aunt takes these for anxiety all the time. And there's nothing wrong with that, Molly. Do you have any, like, weird side effects? I know my aunt was sick for the first couple of weeks, but she was fine after that. Uh, I wasn't really... Uh, I was just a little nauseous at first, but I'm not really embarrassed about it. I just, I don't want people talking about me at school. <laughs> Looks like I gotta go, girls. Wait, we haven't even started our homework yet. So, Mike just scored some pills and he wants me to come over. You guys don't mind doing my portion of the work, do you? Rebecca, you won't tell anybody about my meds, will you? <laughs> Scout's honor. Ooh, Jonathan. It's Jonathan. Listen, I was thinking maybe I could come over and hang out with you after practice. Then maybe we could go to the party together. Let me know if you're down. Good <laughs> ball, Jonathan. <laughs> Somebody's checking you out. <laughs> Wait for it. Kill yourself. Oh, hey. Uh, sorry I didn't get a chance to call you back last night. We were studying pretty late. Uh, but I just want to let you know it's cool if you want to hang out and then go to the party. Yeah, well, some stuff came up. I can't. Oh, okay. We could just do it a different night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I gotta go. I am so embarrassed to say that I am your mother right now. Cannot believe that you think so high of yourself that you would tease anyone about something so serious, especially when you know what it feels like to be teased. Hey, junior high was not that long ago when I was at your school nearly every day for that Erica Robertson girl bullying you, and look at you now. This is unacceptable. At least Molly is getting help for her problems. Molly, Molly, wait up. Wait, what? I just wanted to see if you were okay. I heard what happened. Okay? What even is okay, Megan? Molly. Just seriously, please don't. But it will be okay. Honestly, I understand how you feel. No, you don't. You didn't get the blank stares walking down the hall. You, you didn't get called out of your classes to the nurse's office to explain why you're taking medication. It's like I'm some sort of freak or something. No one understands what this feels like. I, I'm sad when I should be happy. I'm sad for no reason. Try standing in the middle of a room filled with people and still feel alone. Maybe I don't understand, 
But, Molly, you're on your meds now. Things will get better. Meds? That's the entire reason why everyone thinks I'm crazy now. Hey, Megan? What are you doing? Let's go. Just because I keep a smile on my face all the time doesn't mean I am always happy. Chin up, Molly. Things will get better, I promise. and I'll show everyone I don't need those pills. Hey, Molly, I know you're in there. Hey, sweetie, everything okay? Thought you were gonna hang out after school. Yeah, I just decided not to go. You okay? I made a special trip, and I got ladies' tasty treats. They're hoagies. Honey. You look like you've been crying. No, Mom, it's just allergies. Uh, can you just please leave me alone? I, I just really want to go to sleep. Well, honey, I, maybe we should go. Okay. But let me know if you need anything, okay, baby? Hey, Molly, your mom said that I can come in. Look, you've been missing practice lately and I heard you weren't coming to class. 
Molly, I know this must be really hard for you to deal with. I can't even imagine. I mean, I see what my aunt goes through, but I still don't understand. No one does. If you let me, I can try. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just tired of dealing with it. My aunt says she has a hard time getting up in the mornings. She has a lot of weird aches and pains. But Molly, things will get better. You're still taking your meds, right? I'm not taking those anymore. But Molly, why? I thought they were making you feel better. Who wants to be on crazy pills for the rest of their life? They're not crazy pills, Molly. You have so much to be thankful for. You're pretty, and I think you're really nice. And you just made the cheerleading team. Could you just please leave now? Michelle, let me get your homework for you. Thanks. You know, if you miss any more practices, coach will suspend you from the team. Molly, I'm sorry about what happened at school, okay? Becca never should have told anyone about your meds. And I hate that they teased you for that. I really do. I can't say I know exactly what you're going through or exactly how you feel. But I know whenever I'm having a hard time, my mother tells me to pray about it. And I know it may sound weird, but it actually works. Maybe you can even go to church with us one day. I don't want to go to church, Samantha. It's not that simple. Look, um, I gotta go. Can't be late for practice, you know. I just, I wanted to stop by and check on you, Molly. I hope you get better real soon. I'll keep you in my prayers. I don't need you to feel sorry for me. I see. Really, she has. Ah, I see. Well, thank you very much for calling. I will be having a talk with her. Yeah, and don't hesitate to call back if this continues. Yes, yes, she will be at school tomorrow. Yes, thank you, thank you. Molly, school just called. They said you've skipped class these past three days. What is going on? You have never skipped school before. Are you having problems in school? What? I... Oh, is it that boy, Jonathan? Why won't you talk to me? What? Oh my God! Molly, Molly, what have you done? It's nothing. How long has this been going on? I, I, I thought that you were feeling better, that the meds were working. So I need to call Dr. Pearson and get a strong dose? No, Mom! No more meds, no more hospitals. I, I, I don't want anything anymore. I'm just tired. Molly. Molly, baby. You don't have to feel this way. We can get this under control. We just have to keep trying until we find the right medication that works for you. You don't understand. No one does. You don't know what it feels like to wake up sad and miserable. I just want to be normal like everyone else. I know you do, baby. I know you do. And you will, okay? We just, we just can't give up. Okay. I'll let you 
rest for now. But first thing in the morning, I'm calling Dr. Pierce and having him check your meds. Maybe, you know, maybe you do need a stronger dose. Or maybe we just need to try something, something else. We are not going to give up, Molly. We are not going to give up. things, you should come along. It always makes you feel better. I don't want to go. I just want to stay home and sleep. I'll at least eat something, okay? I'll call you and check in on you a little bit. I won't be going long. Please leave your message for seven. Please leave your message for seven zero. We're gonna be happy not unless I have to take stupid crazy pills. Nobody should have to take crazy pills to be happy. It doesn't matter because I'm crazy anyways. Jonathan thinks I'm crazy. Not like I'm ever gonna see my dad anyways. Just so much trouble for my mom. so I can take you to school.
This is Rebecca. I just wanted to say I'm sorry to Molly. I never should have teased her for being on meds. Molly tried to commit suicide last night. I gotta go. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Soslowski, and I play the role of Molly Parker. But not only did I just play the character of Molly, she resembles millions of teenagers everywhere who are going through similar scenarios and are also dealing with depression. They can seem like the happiest people on earth, but go home and feel absolutely miserable. They're completely normal just like us, it's just that they have an extra challenge that goes along with them every day. That challenge can make the happiness that each one of those teenagers deserve seem too far away or even non-existent. That's why each of us needs to fight for them and with them to pull through long enough to get to that happiness. No one may understand exactly what they feel, but what each of us can understand is that everyone deserves a listener. Simply having a normal conversation and asking them how they feel might just help them out enough to keep going that night. We never know when the worst will hit them. That's why we can only try and make every day better so that it never has to come. If you know anyone who may be suffering from depression or having suicidal thoughts, please contact your local suicide prevention hotline and ask for help. Thank you.